Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Amanda, otherwise known as the Tangle Screens Crafter. Um, today I wanted to do a little kind of like a Christmas unboxing, unbagging show and tell of these kits that my husband got me for Christmas from 7great.com. Um, it was funny because I didn't know that he was watching my videos and he saw Whenever, I guess they were doing the Black Friday sale and I did the video about the Black Friday sale. He saw the ones I was talking about liking and he bought me a bunch of them plus some others that he chose himself. Um, I thought that was really sweet. Um, this is not a collaboration. My husband did buy these and I just wanted to show them to you and I'll have all the links and description and everything in my description box. So if you see any that you want to get. You can go grab them. Um, I know they're having some kind of sale right now. I think it was uh, put five in your cart and the lowest one will be free. So buy five for the price of four. I do not know how long that, that is going on. And of course they have free shipping over $49 USD. All of that's paid by them. All right, so first off, um, this is, I'm going to start with the smallest, go up to the biggest, and this is my only 18 count one that he bought me. I'll be quiet so I can mute the rattling. Okay, this one is called Three Squirrels. I will, you know, have a pic, have, have put a picture up. It comes with the separate little page. It shows like how to choose your strands, how to choose the colors, how to do the unprinted and printed canvases, the different um, stitches that might be needed, and some notes on how to clean and maintain them and, and how to keep clean and all that. All right, this is a 30 by 30 centimeter, 18 count. Um, like I said, I will have put a picture up, but it's just cute. Three little squirrels sitting in a little winter window. Looks like it has 30 colors. Let me move that, Let me knock it down. Looks like it uses a lot of the same symbols, just in different colors. The chart itself is printed pretty clearly. It looks like everything is in the correct box. It's on the um, that nice non-tear paper. The product no number and everything up here, the size. It's 170 by 170 stitches. Has some nice blocks of collar and then a lot of confetti in the squirrels. So this should be fun to stitch because blocks and confetti. So when you get tired of one, you can work on the other. Like I said, it is 18 count. The chart's kind of tiny. Like for my eyes anyway. This is I counted. I think it's the only count. I already see an issue. I think this is the only count of one he got me. And it's only 18 count. Which I don't think this is going to be a problem for me. But the printing on the canvas is off by one row on these, or one, yeah, one column for these three rows. But I'll just, I mean, It'll, pretty, it'll be easy. Since it's only that one spot, it'll be easy for me to just work around that and not get off too much. But I think I will shoot them an email and let them know about this. Because that could really mess up people that maybe are newer to cross stitching. Or are very dependent on these grids. I usually don't really pay attention to the grids whenever I stitch. Because usually I just use a blank. Um, piece of Ada whenever I'm stitching so I don't even 
use pre-gridded on my counted. Um, let's see, it comes with the normal little tool kit. It's got a needle threader, and the light's really clear. A needle threader, thimble, the little adjustable thimble, a poop ball. I'm trying to see the needles. One, two, three, four. Looks like it comes with the normal five. It's hard to see, especially with the glare. Let's look at the floss. Okay, it comes with the two additional skeins of the 3865. Because this will be the background color. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to stitch the background or not. Because, I mean, I might. It's just that, you know, it's an off white and a white, so it's not going to be a huge difference if I do not stitch the background. Comes on a floss card. I I'm one of the few, I think, that actually prefer the, the floss drops. Of the people I watch, I should say. I'm sure there's plenty of people out there that prefer the floss drops over these. I just I tend to get these really mixed up, like um tangled up. Let's see, here's one through eighteen. It's just, the colors in person are just so much prettier. Let me see. I think that's closer. I have a ring light with three different colors of light, so I think this is closer to what I'm seeing. It's still a little washed out compared to what I'm seeing, at least on my screen. I don't know what it's going to look like on your monitor, but it's really pretty browns in. Is it like a gray? Maybe just a really dark brown. Nice deep reds. Nice light blue. I shouldn't say nice for everything. Um, here is 19 through 30. I'm assuming 30 is probably this. Again, pretty colors. I know it's a winter, but it looks almost like autumn colors. I'm guessing because squirrels. And they got cute little hats with pom poms on them. And here's all of them together. It's really pretty colors. I'm looking forward to this one. I'll probably say this about all of them, but I'm not sure when I'll be starting it. I have several going right now. We will see what my prompts are for my acrostic for January. Who knows? I might start them all just to have them started. Like a bunch of new starts for January. Alright, the next one is called Dragon Crystal Ball. Grab the wrong one. There we go. Dragon Crystal Ball. It's 40 by 40 centimeters, 11 count. I'll put up a picture. My husband knows how much I love dragons, so I'm sure that's why he chose this one. And it's got purples in it, which, again, I love it, and he knows it. Alright, this comes with the normal toolkit. 
needle threader thimble poof ball with five needles tiger this one has the the um, instructions and yeah I can't talk instructions printed on it warm prompt someone keeps talking about this usually turn out really well or have really good charts or something this is a nicely large chart nicely printed very clear I don't even need my glasses for it got a nice big picture on it it's on the um, non-tear glossy paper this has 36 colors Some 939 in it. A lot of the background is the 939, so that really dark blue. 310. Hmm. I don't still don't recognize a lot of colors by number. Uses several of the same symbols in different colors, but they look like they're going to be easily distinguishable from each other. Like, I mean, there's no way to get this just the pink square and the blue square mixed up and the yellow square the V's are nicely contrasting so those won't be confusing it's got several big blocks of color it's got a lot of big blocks of color and then just enough confetti it's not really confetti heavy but you know enough just different colors in here to give it some detail which I mean the picture it's kind of dark I don't know you know if it's going to have the detail that's in the picture but it'll have some detail at least so yeah 39 centimeters wide by 39 centimeters high which on the side it says 40 by 40 147 stitches wide by 40 147 stitches high yeah it's a really nicely printed chart let's look at canvas let's see it's got 39 by 39 147 by 147 printed on it Legend's pretty clear. It's got the little picture. Looks like everything's printed clearly. I don't see any confusing areas, any anything that I'm going to have any problem with. see the dragon in his wings and the, the crystal ball the moon behind him I don't think it's going to have anywhere near the detail with, as the picture though but we will see I mean 36 colors it might turn out pretty good it's just I feel like they didn't they mostly did the wings and just a couple colors we'll see I love it and I'm hoping it turns out well love dragons. Let's look at the colors. As usual, I'm going to struggle with figuring out how to open this thing. Maybe we should grab something tomorrow while we're out and about. We have chips. That's it. Oh, I didn't hear what you said. This is on floss drops. I love. I put them on the binder rings. I usually separate them by number, like so many on each ring, so it's easier for me to find the color I'm looking for. There's a lot of the 939. Look at all that. 
seven things in nine three nine. Eight two three, another dark blue, which I think is a lot of it, the wings, or a lot of the dragon itself. Oh, it's just a really rich blue. This is lovely. Nine three zero. Five fifty, one of my favorite purples. Some grays, more blues. Not too much black. Three eight six five. Some more purples. Almost like a magenta. More blue. Really light blue, light purple. Some pinks. More purples, more that gray blue. Is that one? Yeah, one five four. I'm starting to recognize that one. I use it in a lot of diamond paintings too. Let's see if I can show you these oh, a little bit closer. Yeah, it's just really pretty colors. My lighting in here is just horrible. It's like no matter which light I turn on, it either blows them out or gives me a weird glare. Again, not sure when I'm going to start this, but I really like it and I look forward to working on it. Hopefully soon. Okay. This is going to be a pretty long video probably because I still got four more to show y'all. He really spoiled me for Christmas. So did my daughter, though. She got me books and fuzzy socks and a candle and a really cute mug. Okay, this one is stained glass dragon. Okay. Another eleven count. Another forty by forty. This one comes with the separate paper with the instructions and tips and tricks. Is that a leopard? That one's cute. Alright, it's got its thimble, needle threader. <coughs> Two, three, four. Five. This one comes with six needles in the poof ball. So standard kit, just one extra needle. Okay, 40 by 40, 147 by 147 has 28 colors, which I think it'll be enough. I mean, it's not going to be as pretty as the picture. I'm, just, I'm assuming I posted the picture, but I think it'll turn out pretty well. Again, uses some of the same symbols, just different colors. It's on the tear free paper. Good blocks of color. Some other little color scattered through, but not confetti. I mean, they're not going to be, it's not going to be long jumps. It's printed clearly, nothing confusing. I don't see any smudges or anything. So yeah, pretty good chart. Canvas. Part number 40 by 40, 147 by 147. Got the picture printed on it. The legend. The legend looks kind of faded to me a little bit, but still easy to read. I 
I really wish they wouldn't use red squares and red squares with white dots. I mean, it's it's big enough that it's easy to see them, so I shouldn't get confused. But like you know, if you're just mindlessly stitching. It might be easy just to not even realize you're stitching the wrong collar. I think that's my only complaint with this. Everything's in its own square, everything's easy to read. It's really stiff. A lot of background. 939. I feel like that's just like the story of my life lately. 939 is like in everything in large quantities. Both my cross stitches and my diamond paintings. That's the light blue so you can see it. And the dragon also. Yeah, I think this is going to be pretty. Let's look at the floss. with one, two, three full hanks, two of nine, three, nine, and one of eight, two, three. I really don't know if I'm going to do the whole background or not. I know it's supposed to be a dark background. But if I frame it in like a hoop, I don't need that whole background. And I could use this 939 on some others. Anyway, just me talking aloud. <laughs> Most of it's on a floss card, but I do have some floss drops for 825. I wonder if they just didn't even have any hanks they could send, or if they just thought that would be easier. I have no problem with it. <laughs> Alright, let's look. 1 through 18. Lots of blues and tans and off white and browns. I really wish they would show up on camera like what I'm seeing. They're really pretty. And then 19 through 28, it's pretty purple, more tans, brown, off-white, really light blue. It's going to be a pretty one when it's done. I say that about all of them, but they're all pretty. I like this blue. It's really pretty blue. Alright, I'm running out of places to stack these. I really should be rebagging them. Let's see. Next. This one I really, really like. This is called Pumpkin Girl. Wrong one. Look at me, I just keep grabbing the wrong ones. You just pay something? Here we go. She is 40 by 60, well, 11 count stamped. Bill? You're gonna pay your rent too though, right? Oh, that's weird, because it showed up for me. Well, I shouldn't say it. it didn't show up for me because I didn't go look for it. I got the little separate instructions. thing that showed me how much it's going to be. I guess that doesn't mean it's available for you to pay yet. Oh, little, what are those little like sparrows? Got needle threader, thimble, poof ball with one, two, three, four, five, five needles. 
This is weird because I saw that charge pop up. I was like, what the hell? It's $17. Let me you count. Know, at the 40 by 60. 16, whatever. 233 by 147. Has 40 colors. Excuse me. It's on the tear proof paper. Again, uses a lot of the similar symbols in different colors. It's printed very clearly. Very easy to see the different symbols. I don't see any smudging and bleeding. It's got lots, of, it's got a couple like big blocks of color, well not a couple, but you know, several big blocks of color. And then some smaller blocks of color. And then a little bit of confetti here and there, but mostly no, it's like just little blocks I'm busy. of collar. I think this is going to be fun to stitch. And she's really pretty. I know I put a picture up, but I mean, it's just... She's a pretty little witch with some pumpkins, castle behind her, bats in the sky, ribbons on her hat. Looks like her hair might be in braids. I'm trying to. So this would be the hat. Her hair. Oh, you can see the laces going down her sleeves. So this would be her face. 40 colors should be plenty. This will look cute. It's hard for me to judge. I do some larger cross stitch, like counter cross stitch, that has like 90 something to 100 something, sometimes 200 colors in it. So with these stamped ones that I've been getting, it's hard for me to tell until I'm actually stitching on them, but I think it's going to be plenty, plenty of colors. Alright, let's look at the canvas. Can't get it all in the camera. It shows 11 count. Right number, I guess, 40 by 60. It's got the picture, it's got the legend. The numbers are a little bit. Well, not really difficult to read, but it's just, you know, with all the holes in them. They're not the clearest. The symbols aren't the clearest, but I'll just use the, the paper chart for look at the symbols if I need to. It's just 233 by 147. I wonder if I can sideways there. Something about the colors is messing with my eyes. The pinks and the blues and the greens. But I don't think it's going to bother me when I'm stitching it. I'll be too focused. It's just looking at it as a whole. It's almost nauseating. I feel like everything is printed clearly. I don't See anything going out if it's square? Everything's easy to read. I hope you can see it at least a little bit. Little patches of kind of confetti, but mostly it's just little blocks of collar. I think this is going to be really fun to stitch. And I really love that image. Look at the floss. Have a hank of three ten, which 
almost 310. Good. Not not the huge blocks. And then two full hanks of 939, which is the background color. Like I said, story of my life. Everything's going to have a lot of 939. I like darker images, I think, so that's why. untangled. All right. Lots of lovely autumn colors. Just one through 18. Oranges and purples and nice rusty color. Some pinks. That like dusty rose. I can't remember what it's called. It's almost like a purple, like a faded out purple pink. Got some blues. Light pink. Just 19 through 36. Look at that lovely green. I don't know if it's showing up. That is lovely. And that's like a really dark, like a, I think brown, when the light hits it just right, it's almost like a greenish brown. More browns, pinks, reds, oranges, really faded purple. I love that green. And then 37 through 40. There's not much of these. Browns, yellow, pink. This is going to be so pretty. Just a gorgeous, it's going to be a gorgeous piece. These collars are just. really looking forward to this. She's going to be fun to stitch. Alright. Next one is 40, 45, 60. Yeah, I'll leave this one. So this one is a Mona Lisa. I hadn't had a Mona Lisa before. It's called Illustration Girl. 11 count stamp. I think this is a sticker. Isn't she just gorgeous? She might be my favorite out of all the ones I got. I love them all. I really do. But she is just gorgeous. I love the, uh, I cannot remember what that's called now, but the mask. I want to say like Usana or something, but I'm probably way off on that. with like a full size what eight by ten paper page of instruction for cross stitch. It's the same as all the other ones, just a little bit bigger. Let's see. Thirty nine colors. Maybe it's Messing with my eyes a little bit. Oh, and on the monitor I could see her face really well. If I could see it this well in the chart, doesn't that mean it's going to turn out really well when I stitch it? Two sides. Shows it's 133 stitches wide by 170 stitches tall. I 
messes with my eyes a little bit, but it's actually really clearly printed. I just wish it had the little grade area that shows you the stitches, the last stitches on here. Because I might get confused having to flip back and forth. We'll see. It might not be bad. Symbols are interesting. I don't know if you can see these. Looks really blurry. But some are like little arrows on a colored background. Some are stripes on a colored background. And there's like the zigzags and the little squares on the plain background and circles on a colored background. It's just, whoops, then I hit the camera. Why are you always grabbing me? So we have like, what is that, like kind of orangey or red X's on a yellow background and the same color but square on a yellow background. I can see that could maybe get confusing. No, I don't think so. Looking at the pattern, it doesn't look like it's going to be too bad. Let's look at the chart. Now oh, this comes with a little kit also. It's got the needles, the poof ball, the needles aren't in the poof ball, the thimble, the needle threader. One, two, looks like three needles. Which honestly, unless I break them, I shouldn't need more than that. Probably shouldn't even need that many. Like I said, she is, or did I say, she's 50 centimeters by 41 centimeters. Oh, there's another needle in the fabric, which I'm going to take that out. I don't like to leave them in the fabric. It's got the legend with the 39 colors on the side. looks like they all match what's on the paper pattern so that's nice no confusion there looks like some nice big blocks of collar along with small blocks maybe a little confetti it just depends on what you consider confetti. I consider confetti like just one or two stitches of something and like a sea of other one or two stitches. This is all like close enough together that I, you don't have to travel too far. I mean you could just break, break the thread and then move over to the next area if you don't want to travel. That's going to mess with me. It looks like white, white background with little blue squares in it, and then blue background with white circles in it. But when I'm just staring at it, it's like my eyes are having issues, not tell them apart really, but like focusing on them because they're so similar but opposite. Ah, oh, it's so hard to, to explain. This thing has a really nice border on it. It's just going to be lovely. You can see so much detail. You can see the detail. The stars and moons in her. I want to say kimono. The lanterns. I just really look forward to doing this one. Which I keep saying about all of them, I think. Let's look at the floss. Sorry. Let's see, 1 through 18. Looks like everything's on the cards. There's no extra hanks. Or not extra, but additional. We got yellows and oranges, red, pink, purple, green. Looks like we have a rainbow going. Blues. Is that a black? Grays.
They're so vibrant to my eyes and on my monitor they're so dull. But they're very vibrant colors. If you can't see it then I guess maybe take my word for it. <laughs> 19 through 36. I just feel like my camera's not picking them up. More pinks. Blues. Really light pinks. Off white. Dark color looks like a 939 or something. Let's see. Yep, 28, so 939. More pinks. Light oranges. And then high grade. Ex I guess it's supposed to be high grade, high grade, exquisite cross stitch. Made 37, 39. Purple, orange, and off white. What? What? Lovely colors. Vibrant. I just wish they would what? show up. It smells like poop. It's vibrant on my screen. Bring the poop smell with you. She's going to be so pretty. She is going to go on my wall when she's done. She is lovely. Yeah, I don't put my, my needle kits back with my kits. I guess tool kits back with my cross stitch kits. I keep those separate. Um, let's see, next is called Christmas Horse. Now, this is one of them. I point out how gorgeous it was, how much I liked it in my video. So, of course, my husband grabbed it for me. I haven't been saying the price of everything, but I will have it on screen. So, I apologize for not having said what is showing the price is right now. with the needle threader, the thimble, the poof ball, and five needles. This one has a really nice big picture on it. Isn't that so pretty? Oh, look at the little snowman. The instructions is printed on the chart. non-tear paper. This is warm prompt. So I expect it to be nice, big, and clearly printed just from my little limited experience with it and from seeing other YouTubers talk about it. It's got 38 colors. Oh, can get it all in the frame. 38 colors. Nice clear symbols for the most part. So if they use some of the similar ones, different colors. Nothing that looks like it'll be confusing. I'm just going to fold it, even though I can't see all of the chart that way. Um, clearly printed. Everything's in its own little square. Easy to read. So it's going to have some big blocks of color and then a bunch. This one looks like it's going to be kind of confetti heavy, especially in the Christmas tree. In the background is pretty variegated, or a lot of variety. Let's open this up again. So yeah. It's kind of confetti heavy in the Christmas tree, which is probably going to make it really pretty. I love this little snowman. Look at him. But yeah, this is just gorgeous. This chart is really nice. 
39 by 59 centimeters, 147 by 233 stitches. Let's look at the canvas. Shows 11 count, I guess the product it. number, picture. The legend's nice Ow, and big and what? clear. Easy to read. That makes me happy. Got the warm prompt on the bottom. 39 by 59 claws, centimeters, 147 by 233 stitches. And as such, pretty canvas. It's hard for me to get it all in frame. Few, a few big blocks of color around the snowman and parts of the horse, but like I said, that the tree has lots of colors in it. It's gonna be really pretty. It's printed really clearly. Everything's in its square. Everything's easy to read. A lot of confetti in this tree. It's going to be one of those where you're going. I'm going to be stitching along, think I have all the stitches of the one color, and then when I get way down here, I'm going to realize I missed like two up here somewhere. But I mean, it is what it is. It's just part of the stitching. I have that moment of frustration, and then I just go back and stitch it. Thick canvas. I haven't been saying, but all of them have been surged all the way around. I usually don't say it because I mean it's pretty easy to see. I think I would probably mention it if it wasn't and it was like fraying or something. Yeah. Why don't you go in there with your mommy and lay down? This floss kind of stuck to the mm -hmm. adhesive. Floss drops. Come on. If you want up here, get up here. Rubber banded together floss drops. Oh, easy. Alright. Of course, it's going to be some Christmassy colors. It's not as, there's not, I don't see as many greens as I would have thought, which kind of concerns me since it is a Christmas tree. So I guess with all the shadows, maybe it's going to be more like tans and... I'm not even sure. Dark colors. See, this is the Black. problem. You won't ever just sit still. We will see. I mean... 38 colors. This still? should turn out good. I just really thought there was going to be more green. Yeah. I see like just a couple little things of green. And then like browns. Tans. Orangey browns. Off whites. There's some purple. There's some red. Some orange. Blues. Yellow. Hardly any green. This I'm just going to have to stitch. Some like golden colors. But I'll stitch it and see how it turns out. Hope you can see some of these. If you've gotten this far, I mean, let me know. Wouldn't you expect a lot more greens in this? Based on the picture? I mean, that looks green to me. All of this looks green to me. I guess like darks. The browns and black and stuff. But it still, just looks like it should be mostly green. And then the um, blanket on the horse's back is mostly green. Okay, we will see. Whenever I get to it. 
depending on how that turns out, that might be my second favorite. All right, last but not least. Thank you so much if you had made it this far through this. And remember, all of these are from 7great.com. 7great.com, I will put all the um, links, the prices, and the names. Um, I have all that in the description box. Okay, this one is just called Santa. It is also 11 count. This is 11 count counted. Okay, I didn't realize this one was counted because this is actually the biggest one, so that's <laughs> going to be interesting. This one is 60 by 45 centimeters. It does come with the little tool kit. Got the needle threader, the thimble, the poop ball, with the five needles. Did I misplace? Looks like I might have misplaced a couple of kits. I got four pinks and an orange. But I got seven kits, so I should have seven of those kits, because I'm pretty sure I showed one for each of them. But that doesn't matter. Okay. I'm just going to go and open this up because, yeah, it is counted and not gridded. For this bigger one, I almost wouldn't mind the gridding. Stiff. It's very stiff, but that's what I expect. It is also the warm prompt. Surged. It's not a whole lot to say when it's a blank canvas. It's got the 11 count, the whatever product number. It's got the picture, the legend, with the, uh, with the symbols. Which, personally, I don't really see the point in having that printed on here since it's counted, but... I mean, maybe it comes in handy. 60 wide by 48, or 45 high centimeters, 234 stitches wide by 169 stitches high. Set that to the side. The instructions is printed on the paper chart. The picture. Okay, I, I really love this picture. Let him count. Warm prompt. This has 44 colors. Some of the symbols are similar with different colors. Maybe 24 sci fi. You know, like that. So I don't you think for any of those genres, too confusing. The colors are anyway, different enough that you can comments. easily tell them apart. It's on the tear-free paper. It's a little wrinkled. Because it was kind of folded in the bag, but it's not hurting anything. Everything's still clearly printed. No smudging or smearing or bleeding that I can see. Looks like a mix of blocks of color plus confetti, which I kind of expected because there's a wreath and Christmas tree and all kind of presents and toys and it's just and a cat. So I kind of expected confetti. A fire in a fireplace. This is this actually might be my second favorite, maybe even my favorite, depending on how it. It stitches up. I love Christmas. Yeah, I don't see any issues with this pattern. This chart. I always say pattern. This one's going to take me a while. It's 11 count, but it is counted, and counting just takes a lot longer. Let's look at the floss. Floss drops, which makes me happy. Ah, oh, look at these just 
browns and like a rusty orange more browns a little bit of blue some oranges rusty orange purple dark blue green that kind of gold color some reds a little bit more green purple maybe black blues a little bit more green again not as much green as I would expect light blues dark blue that really like faded purple kind of a beigey color the green here's some bright green purple yellow orange tans more oranges just hardly any green it's just so surprising to me that there's hardly any green in these two christmas pieces when there's wreaths and i mean the look at this picture The curtains and window, I don't know what you call that, all around the windows and the curtains and the trees and the wreaths and the presents, there's so much green in there, I'd, even the little stockings, so where is all the green in the floss? It's so confusing. I'm going to just stitch on it and trust it, trust the process. I mean, there's 44 colors. It really should turn out well. And they're beautiful colors. I'm not complaining or anything. I'm just confused because I really thought there would be more green. Because what the green there is is just a few, a few strands. A few lengths, I guess you would call them. Each of them are six strands. Very pretty very pretty. Oh, it's just not showing up. These bright yellows and oranges, reds. Nope, just not showing up on my screen. But yeah, I'm looking forward to all seven. So that was the seven kits that my husband got me for Christmas. I mean, he got me other stuff too. He got me a new diamond painting pin that I absolutely love from Cat Eared. It's got a single placer and a double placer. I've already used it a lot. I like it. I shouldn't say a lot, but for a few hours. It is so pretty. It's got like this shimmery, what do you call it, iridescent? Just blue in it. It's so pretty. All right, so that is it for today. If you haven't checked out 7great.com, I would suggest going to look because they have so many projects I would love and they have reasonable prices, $3.99 up to, I don't know what the highest is, but it's all very affordable. They have Joy Sunday, they have Spring Brand, they have Mona Lisa, which like I said, I just got my first one. They have um, Christmas section, Halloween section, what's new section they have bookmarks and pillowcases keychains like I said right now they have the buy five get one free so which to me is a little misleading you buy five but the lowest one is actually free so you're getting five for the price of four um, if you hadn't seen it I do have a unboxing video where I did do a collaboration with them and they sent me some and I unboxed um, I haven't worked on them yet but I plan to soon I just I have a lot of things planned and I hope that you like this video if you found any value in it and subscribed and see all the projects because I will be posting 
some videos of me working on them. Um, whenever I finish any, How? I'm going to Why? be reviewing Why? them and showing the finished claws products. Out of me. So I hope you stick with me. And I thank you so much. If you made it this far, please like and subscribe. Um, it helps me so much and it just makes me happy. I mean, I do this because I would like to get a community going. So please feel free to comment. Tell me about your projects. Tell me if you bought anything from Seven Great. Tell me if you plan to buy anything. Um, <clears throat> feel free to email me. Send me pictures of what you're working on and what you've completed. If you want me to make a Facebook group so we can all chat, please let me know because I am very happy to do so. What and with that, I think I will say what goodbye. Um, I hope you enjoyed these kits. Yeah. I know I am really excited about them and I'm looking forward to working on them. Mm. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye. I almost got distracted and let it over record. Yeah?